You're such a fool, Esdare. The great stupid Esdare. Thinks he can outsmart me and he tries to circumvent my authority, but... You're now left empty-handed, aren't you, buddy boy? <laughs> Yes, hello, Kujad, my friend. It's good to hear from you. Good day to you, good day to you. Wait, tomorrow? Did I, did I say tomorrow, brother? Oh, of course, of course, I'm sorry. Been so busy, it just totally slipped my mind. It's no problem. Okay, my man. I assure you I'll have your money tomorrow. Don't worry, you have my word, and my word is gold, okay? All right, my friend. Have a nice day, thank you. Thanks, thanks. How's it going, my friend? It's going just fine. May our holy war be blessed. <laughs> Look, Samal, I gotta tell you something about your brother, Ejder. Uh, he won't give us any trouble, will he? As you know, Mr. Savad has no tolerance for such things. Don't you worry about him. He can't do anything. Right now, what's important is you giving me news about the money. When will Mr. Savad pony up the money for the job I've provided? Hope it won't be till the evening, because I want my hands on it right now. <laughs> no, not this evening. It'll be at least a week. Such things are not easy. You don't say. I do say. Didn't Mr. Savat convey this to you? Sure he did. Oh, but Brother Kudret, why couldn't you have waited longer, man? You let your pride ruin all of this. And now you have forced me in a corner. Oh, hello. Brother Mehmet, how are you, brother? Oh, Smile. What's up in the middle of the night? Can't you sleep, brother? Yeah, well, you've got that right. I have to pay a lot of money to Kudret Soilo, and I don't know how to pay him. So I thought, uh... I could borrow from you and pay you back next week, huh? Samal, I think you've forgotten what happened in the past. Your credit is cancelled. No money for you. Yeah, but, but th this time there will be no delay. You will have your money next week. Please believe me, I swear it. Well, okay, but I'll ask for double next week. You want double? Come on, isn't that a little too much, brother? Well, that's how it is now. You get the treatment that you deserve. Hmm, but... All right, brother. Okay, let it be as you say. <sighs> that dirtbag. If I don't get even with you after all this, then no one will call me Samal. <sighs> Samal? What are you doing in the room all alone? What is wrong? Are you worrying? Leave me alone, Safika. Can I sit alone? Can I even just think for a second myself without being bothered? Just leave me, just go away now. But you are my husband. We have put our heads on the same pillow for years. How can I leave you alone when you are feeling like this, huh? What happened? Oh, won't you tell me if you are having a problem? Well, what can happen? It's your brother-in-law. So you mean Kudret? Yeah, I do mean Kudret. He has asked me for the rest of the money. Oh, really? I don't have any. The safe's empty. You could have asked for a little time. Look, what the hell? What the hell, Safika? What are you saying? The guy is on the rampage now. He's ready to kill us at the slightest pretext. Oh, what can I say? <sighs> and that Nagme is still not gone yet. What will happen even if she leaves? We could send Elvan away as well. <sighs> then we'd invite my brother-in-law to dinner. And he may be angry, but my brother-in-law is soft-hearted. He would forgive us. What are you talking about? He's as stubborn as a mule, I am telling you. You know my brother-in-law better than me? Kudret Soilu will not give us any girl. I can tell you that for sure. I'm saying my niece is tied to my apron strings is all. I will get inside her head. And will Kudret Soilu say no if the girl will tell him yes then? No, I think she will persuade her father somehow. Well, I think I better go to my brother-in-law's and see him in the morning. I will tell him what happened. Huh? Well, what do you say? 
Well, then go if you want. But I do not think it will do any good. Oh, well, I've got to try. And I will go there early. Look, Safika, what will we say to my poor mother? If she finds out that I still have debt remaining, huh? She takes Esther's side, she will turn her back on me completely. I have found a way to get money, and we are almost out of the woods. Do you see what's going on? Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. We can't worry about that. I will make up a story to tell her. 